What's up guys, how you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. In today's video, we got a good one. We got a good one. Marcus Rogers' stern response to Alan Parr on tongues, prophecy, being filled with the Spirit. And that's really where the focus of today's video is. Tongues, being filled with the Spirit. Are they one and the same? If you don't speak in tongues, are you not filled with the Spirit? Do you not have the Holy Spirit? This is big stuff. Mm -hmm. It's big. It's very, very big. And there's going to be a lot of things said. A lot of things said. And humility. In humility. And in humility. we want to be considerate to just our fellow brothers in Christ. We believe both of these men are walking with the Lord, have relationship, relationships with the Father. So, you know, anything we say, we hope it will encourage and edify and challenge them as sure. they watch this video. But also mainly for you guys watching this, we hope that it will help you and encourage you to just find the balance or whatever find the balance and spend maybe a little more time studying these topics yes mm. um but before we get into that make sure you subscribe to this channel um and give this video a thumbs up we make videos on culture and social issues from a christian perspective to help you have hope and be free amen and i just want to say very quickly all i'm going to say is this our patrons are amazing <laughs> thank you guys so much for supporting the channel I see patrons already on the live chat. We had our Zoom call with our patrons Saturday, mm -hmm. and it was just, it's such a blessing. Yeah. So thank you guys. Yes. Thank you all. This is to you. This one goes out to you all. <laughs> all right, Morgan, yeah. let's go. Okay. So first order of business, very briefly, what went down? So two, three days ago, Alan Parr, our brother in Christ, Alan Parr, who has, I would consider, probably one of the biggest Christian YouTube channels on the platform. Probably, yeah. He made a video that caught my attention. The title of it was, I'll give you guys the exact title. It was, Three Christian YouTube Channels You Need to Unsubscribe From Now, in all caps. And we, we will be playing a few videos for you guys, a few just clips, I should say. Mm -hmm. He made that video... I watched it and was like, wow, um, one of the three things he mentioned, we'll get into in a minute, but it had to do with channels that are obsessed with the prophetic. I was like, okay, he didn't specifically name names, but perhaps you guys watching now could think of some channels that you're like, oh yeah, this channel is very prophetic. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Alan Parr is saying when it comes to not necessarily... Um, diving into biblical prophecies or end time prophecies, but extra biblical prophecies and stuff like that. He's saying unsubscribe from them if they're obsessed with that stuff. Yep. A day goes by, two days go by. And then Marcus Rogers, who many of you guys are familiar with, another one of the biggest. He's almost at 600,000 subscribers. Is he? Yeah. He's very big as well. <laughs> yeah, he, he hopped on and made a video and ultimately it's responding to Alan Parr and his response. There's a few things that really stand out to me. I, I, I will say I was a little surprised by mm -hmm. the response. One thing that's interesting just to note right off the bat is you kind of have, as Morgan said, these are two Christian brothers. I'm confident that they're both going after the heart of the Lord, mm -hmm. but you have one brother who's sitting more in, in Alan Parr sitting more in the reformed camp. I did just, just he is that's just my uh, I don't know Baptist reformed he's just more over on this side when it comes to denominations and ways of of uh, doctrine and then you have Marcus Rogers who I would consider much more charismatic Pentecostal very much more on this side and therefore here we are here we are here we are. I will say I watched both of the videos fully. I think Alan's is like 10 and a half minutes long. Marcus's is like 12 and a half minutes long. Um, and I agreed with a lot of what Alan said. And there were some things that I was like, eh, I don't know if that's that big of a deal. Um, and then with Marcus, there were a few things that I did agree with. <laughs> a lot that I disagreed with. <laughs> a lot. So you would say right off the bat. Excuse me, there were more things that you disagreed with in Marcus's video than Alan's? Yeah, and disagree with or just found very concerning, honestly. Um, and 
would you say it was with the meat and potatoes of the video or was it more maybe with the, the tone or the the you... meat and potatoes okay well that's interesting <laughs> and what i like about this live forum discussion is morgan may say something that i challenge and vice versa yeah so let's go let's, <laughs> man good stuff so what i had on here morgan i thought <clears throat> excuse me i thought we'd start out we already mentioned these are both brothers in christ What's something that we appreciate before we kind of get into mm -hmm. some things that may concern us or taking sides per se? Um, what's something that you appreciate about both Marcus and Alan? Well, with Alan, I've um, had like a lot of topics or thoughts that people come to me about and ask me a question on. I'm like, oh man, I need to do more studying on this before I respond. And a lot of the times I end up watching some of Alan's videos and I really appreciate just the depth that he goes into um, and the scriptures that he shares and uses and um, and then it inspires me to go deeper into the word. And I really think that that's an important thing for any Christian YouTube channel. It should inspire you to go to the word of God and dig deeper. And I will piggyback on that. Alan seems like a man that wants to know what the Bible says, and then he wants to obey that. Yeah. So it's almost like that is commendable, kind of like the Bereans were commended in the New Testament. He is like testing stuff with the word. I applaud that. Marcus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Marcus, I, I appreciate his boldness and, um, you know, I can only imagine just being more charismatic and being more outspoken about, hey, the Lord revealed this to me or, hey, like I had this dream and here's what I think it means. Um, you're going to get people who are heresy hunting or going after you and in a lot of ways that maybe Alan doesn't get or we don't get. And so I appreciate his boldness and his willingness to continue to speak out on that. I appreciate him tackling um, celebrity things that happen Topics. in Hollywood and whatnot. Um, I think that that's important and that, you know, Paul and I like to address things that are going on in Hollywood as well. So I appreciate that about him as well. Yes. Marcus, in many ways, is very much on the front lines. He's after it. He is no compromise. He's taken some risks. And in many ways, that is commendable. And I want to applaud that. I want to applaud, applaud someone who's just going after it rather than maybe someone who's just sitting back, playing it so safe, not really doing any kingdom work, and then criticizing those who are doing kingdom work because they think that they're going outside the box or something like that. Yeah. Um, so commendable. Um, so I, I did want to give this... Also, as we get into kind of the topic of speaking in tongues, um, and I don't know, if, did you know this, but Alan and I have had a little bit of back and forth. Yeah. Alan Parr and I have in regards to speaking in tongues. We made a video on the topic, which as I'm thinking about it now, it would be fun to go back and revisit because that was probably mm -hmm. two years ago. Yeah. But um, I think that, I, I don't think there was anything said on our end in that video that I would disagree with now because we were sharing our personal experiences. Morgan and I both speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but Alan actually commented on that video, if I'm not mistaken, and we had a little bit of back and forth. He was disagreeing with something that we said, and I pushed back because, again, this is what I, I believe as far as speaking in tongues. And then more recently, I actually commented on one of his videos on speaking in tongues. So yeah. full transparency, when it comes to speaking in tongues, and I'm sure we're going to get into more of this, I I feel like Alan um, and I see some, we see some things differently. I feel like Alan almost plays it too safe. And this is, again, very likely in, when it comes to people who are more in the reform side and you can't put blanket statements, but they tend Ooh. to be more skeptical, very cautious and finding the verses that would be maybe more down on speaking in tongues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, whatever. Just go on. Continue. <laughs> all right. I'm looking at my notes. But nevertheless, um, yeah, it's all good, baby. It's all good. <laughs> Had some back and forth with Alan. Um, let's go ahead and play just just so you guys can get a little idea 
again, I have a few different clips from both Alan's video, just very quick ones, and Marx's video. Play the first clip in Alan's, just so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. For those Christian YouTubers who are obsessed with what we call extra biblical revelation. And this is the idea that they say, okay, yeah, I know the Bible says this, but God has shown me something else. God has given me a word. God has given me a fresh revelation. God. Awesome. So that's an idea. Uh, Alan's making this video in the first category of he's saying people to watch out for unsubscribe for is people that hyper focus on extra biblical revelation yeah um i agree with him that and one of the things that he brings up is why why you should be so careful with channels like this is because you know you can start telling people, say you're a channel like this that's always giving pro prophetic words. It's always saying, God revealed this to me. God said this to me. It's like, hey, make sure you're coming back to my channel because mm -hmm. tomorrow I'm going to reveal what else God said to me. And then it's like, is this real or are you just coming up with this stuff because you need more content? Like, how genuine is your content when you are constantly saying, God told me this, God told me this? Like, don't get me wrong. I believe that God talks to us. I don't know if it's as common as some of these channels seem to make it. Like, God is always talking to them, always revealing. It's like, is that the case? Or are you just saying God is saying this to you, you know? And one of the reasons that Marcus probably felt compelled to respond was because he felt like whether or not this is the reality, and it, it may have been, but that Alan was talking about my channel. Mm -hmm. They've had some back and forth in the past. They had they expressed some of their differences in a in a reasonable way on Ruslan's channel. That was interesting to see. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'd say there's two things with this. One, I agree with you that it is almost like when you look at certain YouTube channels, it's like nonstop. God told me this to tell you guys, mm -hmm. God, you guys need to watch this because God told me this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, whoa, like, and, and from you guys probably watching our videos in the last couple months talking about distancing ourselves from the hyper charismatic, we've become more cautious about people, ministries, churches, pastors, YouTube channels, influencers that operate in that way. Mm -hmm. We have, and, and again, just being transparent when it comes to Marcus Rogers, looking back when the Trump prophecies were really floating around and in, in full force, Marcus, well, Marcus is one of those channels in many ways that regularly is saying, God told me this, isn't he? God spoke this to me. Yes. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. I don't think Marcus ever said god told me that trump is going to get reelected but he did say make some very confident statements mm -hmm. and i i feel like trump is going to get reelected um yeah i don't know if he ever came out and i think he said in his video um responding to alan like he never said that the second time around when trump was running he said it the first time like god told me trump was going to be president mm -hmm. the first time around but second time he only said i feel like trump is going to be president i i'm going to just believe that that's true i personally feel like i had seen things from him he, saying he trump made told some, me he made some you mean the god told me yeah all right <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We get it. He made some very confident statements. Trump is going to get reelected without actually saying God told me Trump is going to get reelected. So it got a little blurry, mm -hmm. but I want to just, you know, keep yeah. things one hundred. Yeah. So there is that side. And since that happened and we saw how it went down with the Trump prophecies, Morgan and I both kind of pulled back from some of these channels because there was other channels. There was other prophets mm -hmm. prophets if you want to air quote them whatever i'm not going to get into that right now that were super forceful god told me that trump was gonna get reelected and all that now, we've just kind of as a married couple pulled back some from them and so with marcus rogers 
being one of those guys that constantly or very consistently is saying that type of stuff using that kind of lingo. God told me this. I've just pumped the brakes. I don't watch as much of his content. I'll still watch Marcus and I still appreciate him in many ways, but I'm just kind of playing it a little more safe now. Yeah. So uh, again, that's just where we're at. I'm just being real with you. But here's the other quick side I want to mention. I think kind of rewatching some of Alan Parr's video and thinking back on his channel, I think he actually goes a little too far in making it seem like that stuff never happens. Mm -hmm. That God and whatever, what did he say in that clip again? Hold on. Can you play that clip one more time? The one that I just played? Yeah. I just want to, because it kind of will evoke some more thoughts real quick. Hopefully this is the right one. See if it is. And so one of the things with Alan Power. Nope. <laughs> we'll get to that one. Just can you just play it on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He said Please. Christian YouTubers who are obsessed with what we call extra biblical revelation. And this is the idea that they say, okay, yeah, I know the Bible says this, but God has shown me something else. God has given me a word. God has given me a fresh revelation. So I don't think that Alan Parr is a cessationist. Sensationist? Cessationist. Cessationist. I don't believe he is. Um, but he seems very, I don't even think cautious is the right word, concerned, da almost down on people operating in the prophetic mm -hmm. that isn't strictly in the Bible, strictly on the pages of the Bible. Um, and I would just say in regards to that, what do you do then, Alan, or people that are in that boat, whether you're cessationist or just really down on that, um, what do you do with the Apostle Paul talking about from the, the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit is given through him, is given words of knowledge, prophecy. Like it, it would seem to my knowledge as I look at scripture, study scripture, these things are still very much there the, by the spirit of God we are given to some a manifestation to some words of knowledge mm -hmm. prophecy yeah. and he just seems like he's pretty far on the one end of stiff arming that that's my just kind of my observation yeah I don't watch enough of him to know that but that is the feeling that I get when I do watch the things yeah stiff arming is a strong word but very much like eh so And that's what it made it sound like from this video. Guys, this video he just made. Stay away, unsubscribe from these type of channels. Well, what if Marcus Rogers was regularly saying, God told me, but then it was like he was constantly getting them right. His prophecies, right. his words I, I of knowledge. I think that would change a lot of things. And that is one reason that we've kind of stepped back in following or paying attention or watching channels like Marcus's and others um, because we just feel like a lot of things that have been said have just not come to pass. Um, and again, if he claims that he never said, like, he heard from God that Trump would be president again, um, okay, but I don't know, so... Yeah. Go ahead. Shall we move on to Marcus's response? We've spent a lot of time. Uh, um, now, I, I think as Morgan said, she had more concerns with the Marcus response. And there were a few things that Marcus said, and he actually repeated it. And what we're about to play the first video clip is just like five seconds, but then the second one's a bit longer. He talks about the fact that Alan Parr does not speak in tongues, and they've apparently had this back and forth. Mm -hmm. That he, he goes on to say, because Alan does not speak in tongues, he therefore has not been filled with the Holy Spirit or yeah. just, yeah, play those clips. Yeah, and I just want to say real quick that I think, honestly, this conversation back and forth mm -hmm. between Alan and Marcus is very divisive i think that the things marcus said are incredibly divisive i don't think it's wrong 
to, like, I don't think it's always a wrong thing to cause division. Like, Jesus caused division, and who who was it? Paul and Peter? Yeah, Paul and Peter kind of went their separate ways. They did. And Barnabas and Paul went their separate ways. Like, there was division. They were still brothers in Christ, but there were division. Um, But I think that this should have been a conversation that, I don't know, maybe Marcus, I hope he wasn't responding out of offense, hearing Alan's video and being like, he's talking about my channel. Well, guess what? I'm going to make a response right now. Oh, it's hard. Um, Yeah, you just, I know, like, you want to be able to defend yourself. You want to be able to, you know, clap back. <laughs> like, but that's not always the answer. And I think maybe what Marcus should have done. <laughs> is gone to Alan and been like, hey, let's have a conversation live or just uh, we can edit the video, whatever, but just a conversation of two brothers in Christ talking. Um, I don't know. I just feel like these videos were divisive. It's tough because they have already had face-to-face conversations about many of these same things. I know. And so it appears, and this is the tough thing, it appears that they didn't really get on the same pages Mm-hmm. and so now it's like they're still sitting there and then alan goes ahead and makes this video and then marcus like you said is like oh well, now i i'm gonna make this video yeah i think it is kind of and one thing i put in my notes as we as we get into marcus's video someone who is on the reform side and is very confident in those things someone who is on the charismatic side very confident like maybe not just charismatic, but like really charismatic, (laughs) they're probably not going to get totally on the same page on these issues. So I would hope that someone like Marcus or some of these other channels that are in these, that are very high, I don't even want to say just label them hyper charismatic, but that are very charismatic. (laughs) I would hope that they would be able to say, like you said, with Peter and Paul or Paul and Barnabas, can't remember all the different ones, but like, mm-hmm. you know, I love you. And they, they did say that both of them kind of at the beginning were saying, I'm not saying this other person is not walking with the Lord, mm-hmm. but I would hope that they could actually glean stuff from each other because there is important stuff that both sides have to offer. Yeah. And hopefully we will all, as we grow in the Lord, be able to become more balanced and not even necessarily be on one side, but just have this healthy balance like Morgan and I have. Right. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. No, but no, literally no. that we hopefully are all trying <laughs> to have and arrive at. And I, I'm yeah. sad when I see very charismatic channel or person, very reformed channel or person, and it's like they almost are not even in fellowship. Right. Lay yeah. down those things that you guys are really holding on to, and let's try to find the unity because there are much bigger things which should be dividing yeah, this is not a salvation issue, and and if people are thinking that this is a salvation issue, they need to rethink it. <laughs> Some things are big deals, and hopefully they can be worked on and hashed out, and maybe we won't, won't arrive at the same place, but yes, there are bigger salvation issues. All right, but, stop here talking, Bubba. <laughs> wow. Play the first one by, this one's really quick. And so one of the things with Alan Powell, I've talked to him, he doesn't speak in tongues. He hasn't been filled with the Holy Spirit. So first one, he simply says, and he he goes a step further, but at first he says he has, he doesn't speak in tongues. He hasn't been filled with the Holy Spirit. And then he goes on to say this a little bit after. Spirit was telling me they're not built the same as you uh, in reference to Alan Parr. And then I talked to Alan Parr and I asked him, man, have you ever spoken tongues? Um, And we had that whole conversation. He said no. So right there, me and him, are going to bump heads on a lot of things because he don't have the spirit of God inside of him. Uh- Ooh, that one hurts, man. I'm that one hurts. Sorry. But this is not okay. This is what is divisive. This is what is I'm sorry, but this is what it is. Marcus putting himself at a at a higher place than Allen. And I just think that's absolutely ridiculous because Marcus thinks, oh, he's he doesn't speak in tongues. So the Lord told me you guys aren't on the same level. Ah, uh, what was the not wor- okay? What was the verbiage he used? I can't remember. Uh, it it all not, hit me so fast. Not running in the same. Yeah, like, um, 
it's not okay. And to anyone who's ever been told, like, oh, you don't speak in tongues when you're not filled with the Spirit of God, I'm so sorry because I just think that's baloney. Um, and it's not biblical, okay? Well, can I say, he started by saying, using more of the terminology of Alan does not speak in tongues and he's not been filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I heard that and I was like, okay, there's a little gray area there that we can work with. But then Marcus went on to say he doesn't speak in tongues. He doesn't have the spirit of God in him. Therefore, is what it sounded like. He literally said in Marcus, you need to clarify. These are big, these are big things to say. Clarify if this isn't what you meant, but you repeated it. You said he doesn't speak in tongues. He does not have the spirit of God inside of him. That's to me, that's like, bro, that there is no you're going beyond this kind of gray area of what does it mean to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Because there's some gray area there. Okay, well, we can look at different examples. I personally don't agree with that even. But. Well, we can, with some churches, especially the real charismatic, they emphasize, have you had that experience being filled with the Holy Spirit? I don't think we need to get super into that because Marcus went on to literally say, yeah. no, no tonguey tongue. <laughs> no Holy Spirit living inside of him. No Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is not living in him. That's big time, bro. I just think it's just not okay. It's very belittling in my opinion. And I'm sure, I, I hope he didn't mean that to be a belittling thing or to be a, see, so I'm a stronger Christian than you are. I just think it's so goofy. Like, why would you want to cause division and, like, this, like, controversy over something like this? I don't know. And for me, Marcus in the past has said things, like, about the Trinity and whatnot, and then he's come out and said, like, I don't believe, right? Am I getting this wrong? I don't know. I didn't watch real closely. I know there was controversy around Marcus's trinity yeah so maybe he's come out and clarified what he believes and so it's like is this gonna be one of those things where a few years down the road he's like oh actually i don't feel like you have to be able to speak in tongues to be filled with the spirit of god i I hope so i hope so um but right now this is where he's at and so this is where we have to focus on and to tell a man of God that he doesn't have the spirit of God in him is just wrong. <laughs> well, and he used, Marcus used a passage. Um, he used a few verses and guys, we, we will link. I haven't linked them yet, but afterwards I'll go back and link both of their videos and you can watch the full thing in its entirety. I encourage you to do that. Mm-hmm. But Marcus mentions uh, a verse in Mark that talks about those of you who get saved or who believe these signs will accompany you. And it says, you will speak in different tongues. You will um, lay hands on the sick and heal them. You will handle snakes, poisonous snakes and not get bitten. You will drink deadly poison and not get sick. So it has all these things. So Marcus used that in his video to say, see, it's as clear as day here in Mark. You will speak in tongues to those of you who believe. But he only quoted that part which is was a little bit frustrating to me because i'm like why are you only quoting that part (laughs) and you know some verses i'm like okay i'm not totally sure what to do with that but it says to those who believe okay speaking in tongues but i don't see too many of these hyper charismatic pentecostally more on this side handling poisonous snakes you're drinking poison (laughs) um i think that the emphasis that marcus puts on speaking in tongues is too much Mm -hmm. um he's quoting verses that that emphasize that and i think tongues are a good thing and i see the apostle paul saying earnestly desire the gifts but then he goes on to say but the soul like the majority of your desire should be on desiring the greatest gift which is love Mm -hmm. that should be the emphasis the ultimate emphasis and he also says and i didn't hear marcus bring this verse up but the apostle paul says do All of you prophesy. Do all of you speak in tongues? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. (laughs) So it's like, if you're going to bring this side that every Christian should speak in tongues, and and I'm not even saying that every Christian should or shouldn't. I mean, I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that I speak in tongues with the Lord sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, And we can talk more about that. But to emphasize it so greatly, to say, if you don't speak in tongues, 
you do not have the Holy Spirit inside of you, the fruits of the Spirit is, is Alan demonstrating love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Those are fruits of the Spirit. Uh, I just think that you are becoming, taking something and elevating it. Yeah, the fruits of the Spirit literally do not mention speaking in tongues. So why are we judging someone's faith off of if they can speak in tongues or not? When you ignore what Paul said, all of the fruits of the Spirit like that Alan has and is revealing. And it's very clear, oh, he is walk. He does have the Spirit within him. I see love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. <laughs> so kind of to wrap things up, and I'm excited to get your all's questions and comments and feedback. By all means, Marcus, if you, and this is just my opinion here, but if you want to admonish and encourage people like the Apostle Paul, Guys, go after speaking in tongues because it really helps your prayer life and, and you, sh you can share the benefits of how it's helped you. Do that. Encourage people to do that. But just, I don't think there's a place, I don't think it is helpful in the body of Christ to, and, I, and so there are some churches that just push so hard on the speaking in tongues. I, I don't think that that is helpful. And I, I think that you are going beyond a well-rounded view of scripture in regards to tongues when you put such an emphasis on that as you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one last thing I yeah, think baby. that I was going to say, but I can't remember. By all means. <laughs> By all means. Uh, I can't remember. Scratch it all. Maybe it'll come out when we get to some questions. Yes. And stuff. Three. It's gone. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it'll come back. Um, guys, there's our thoughts. Comment below. Let us know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about Marcus's video? What do you guys think about Alan's video when it got in regards to speaking in tongues, being filled with the Holy Spirit? Let's be gentle. Don't think this particular thing needs to be something that's so divisive. 